All right, it's Legal Minute time now with Martin Harding and Mazzotti at 1-800-LAW-1010. Good morning, Paul. Hey, good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Paul. Hey, so another hoverboard fire story uh, involving Amazon, and that's interesting because I actually literally threw my son's hoverboard away last month. Yeah, so these hoverboards, you know, the, the ones that, that they get from these international companies that, that don't have any connection in the U.S., so they're sort of throughout the world but not in the U.S., and that's sort of why Amazon's getting sued. So you got these uh, hoverboards that come in. They've got some battery issues. Seen it, you know. We've seen the videos of them when they've kind of caught fire and they've injured people. Yeah, but property damage, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, these are hoverboards that are manufactured somewhere else, and they have no nexus to our country other than shipping. Oh. So that's why Amazon's being sued because they're the closest thing they can get to a defendant uh, that would be accessible. So you you can't sue somebody that's out of the country. You can, but what happens is these are not. This isn't Toyota, you know, that does business here. This isn't some of these. So now oh. to go ahead and for a claim for, let's say the house was worth a couple hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's a lot of money. Um, but now to go ahead and seek a claim against a foreign corporation that is doing business, and I'll just pick on China. It might not be China. Um, you're you're going to spend $100,000 just effectuating a lawsuit. Wow. And even <sighs> then, they can say no. Wow, you got to right? weigh your... Yeah, well, so they go after work. Amazon. Is can they? They're trying to sue Amazon. How's that going to work out? It's it's a stretch, right? So you you find someone who's pretty located here who distributed the product, and the product said store it in your house. Well, that didn't work out so well, right? So yeah, that's what they're trying. They're trying to find a defendant, and Amazon's going to defend it, saying, hey, you know, we just sort of like, you know, advertise it and distribute it. We don't, we didn't, uh, and they've got disclaimers on their on their ads that say, look, you know, we're sort of the middle guy here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, We'll see. Yeah. So they're pretty well protected. They, they, I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if they can, uh, if Amazon can go after the company in where, whatever country it came from. Well, they run into the same problem. Now, they can afford to bring claims. So if they get hit really hard, if, if this worked out against them, they got hit really hard, you know, they've got to decide, you know, for a couple hundred thousand, does it make sense? To, right. to, what they'll do is stop selling the product. I was going to say stop selling it. Easy. Right. All right, Paul, thank you once again yeah. for joining us this week. Appreciate it. Yeah, really good I information. actually, uh, I just bought a tent on Amazon while we were talking. <laughs> don't store it in your house? I don't know. <laughs> it's on the way. I get it in a couple of days. Amazon Prime. Yes! <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. 1-800-LAW-1010. Martin Harding and Mazzotti.